Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys why Google should just stop changing things and leave things like just the way that they are because the way that they are is honestly perfectly fine. So let's get straight into this. What I'm talking about is specifically the design. In my opinion, 2015 has to be the peak of the design of every Google product. And I mean every Google product. From web making, from docs, to YouTube, the older interface was obviously better. Back then, the older interfaces were sorta of, kinda of part of my childhood. And now you can't even go back to them. Anyways, here is on my list the top three worst design changes of Google Apps. Now, the first one is YouTube. Now, YouTube has changed a lot over the past recent years, but the first things that really scream out to you in what we lost was YouTube channel page customizations. Remember the days when you can fully customize your, you know, YouTube front page, you know, your channel page, and you know, you can like put an image in the background and you know, have a very cool banner and everything that's all like out and everything. Well now all we have is changing the banner and profile picture of your YouTube channel page. That's it, that's all the customizations that you get. Another thing we lost was annotations. Now, sure, it is annoying for the viewer to have to close it, but, but people still used to put them there. Now the reason I sorta kinda want it brought back is because is to get something across in my videos. What I mean by that is that it's basically editing the video after I edit the video in the YouTube video editor, if that makes any sense. Because they missed something in the video that afterwards they would want to put there. You really can't do that with info cards because it just ends up being really, really tiny. And like 99% of my viewers won't even see it or read it and will just swipe it away. So the way that that needs to be brought back is text in the YouTube video editor, which is not there at its current state. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next one. Now the second one is every app in the Google Docs suite, which are Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Drawings, and Google Sheets. Why? Well, the same thing as what I said in the beginning. The interface back then used to be a nice, humble, well, user interface, the very opposite can be said with the new Google Docs suite. You can take any aspect of your work in the given suite, such as, let's say Google Docs, for example. Here are two pictures. One has the new interface and the second has the old one. Which one would you rather work in? I will give you a second. If you chose the old one, then you'll likely have been using the suite for as long as I have and you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you chose the new one, then, well, I don't know what to say except for the fact that you just like new stuff. Now to put that in context, I still have an iPhone 6S and it is perfectly fine. And I am perfectly fine with it. Anyway, uh, let's go over the design differences here. Let's say sharing documents. The old one has this, you know, again, incredibly humble, easy to use experience while the new one has this, oh my God. Anyway, that was the whole entire Google Docs suite now let's go on to the next one. Now the third one is every other Google product whose old UI is going away in the future in favor of the new one. Essentially, I still have room to breathe before the room with no doors finally fills up with water and we all drown. Now this includes Google Sites and products that have already changed such as Google Translate. Now about the Google Sites one, they added a lot of features like genuinely easy to use user interface and well, proper buttons that you can actually put in your website. Now this is good and all, but there are still some people out there who use the old Google Sites user interface. This is not to say that the old Google Sites is better. Heck no, it's basically just a glorified text editor. But still, people can still get personality and very decent top-notch design from their websites using the original Google Sites. And when converted through the old to new Google Sites converter, basically, literally 90% of all the humble personality is lost. Now, 
the moral of the story is just please stop changing things. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Again, I have an iPhone 6S. You can have an iPhone 5 and it would just be perfectly fine. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever thought that, that they needed a new text editor user interface or a new YouTube user interface or a new Google search interface. Don't remove things 